Well, all right, you squares. I guess this is going to be an ongoing thing about the gender war, which nobody seems to want to give up or even advance. Everybody wants to keep to the same talking points. You keep doing the same things, keep, keep repeating the same subjects over and over again. And that's the problem. Everybody complains about the manosphere, but you come here to complain about the manosphere and do the exact same things over and over again. And when people do come up with solutions or other ways of seeing things or other ways of being, then you got all the naysayers. All of a sudden, they want to keep you back in, into this closed in, locked in loop. So there's a youngster that's been trying to get my attention for like the last few weeks and since i did the video about the gender war being over and we that we won which i completely laid out my argument but everybody runs or walks over the whole argument to what they feel okay what they think what their objectives is okay which is not the objectives that was laid out in the in the initial start of what they quote unquote gender war which i never agreed that it was a war in the first place and that uh, keep you know i used to ask all the time okay it's a gender war okay if it's a gender war what are you trying to achieve what are you trying to do where are you trying to go with this what's your objectives wars have an objective they don't have an open-ended thing okay? if war is if the whole gender war was about power or getting laws passed which that only came after we achieved a certain amount of success. All of a sudden, everybody starts moving the goalposts. And this young brother, who, when the gender war first started, he wasn't no more than six years old. Okay, because he's 21. When I first came online as a MGTOW in 2013, which is nine years ago, he was 12. He didn't know shit about it. He just got here. And now he's trying to define what the gender war is. So I'm going to do a reaction since he's been going off. And he's already done two videos. He's getting ready to do a third about the same thing and basically say the same things over and over again. So as an 18 minute video, he did a whole live stream that was an hour. I guess he didn't get all his points out. So we're going to go over by maybe half of this, hopefully, and get some points out and, and, and hopefully put this one to bed. OK, because uh, he was supposed to go on live. He delayed it. But uh, in the la last time. Uh, we had a row. I put his name in it. He didn't show up. So I don't know why people put my, you know, put put my name in their mouth. And then when I do, make a reaction, they don't show up. But anyhow, I, if he wanted me to show up, he could he could have emailed me. He didn't do that. So I had somebody had to tell me that my name was in it. But anyway, we're going to bring him up. You know, I got a recording. We're going to bring we're going to bring him up and we're going to get the party started. This is from uh, Hammer. Uh, men lost the gender war. This is to me. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is Hammer here again. And today I'm going to be doing a live stream in regards to... <laughs> again. The Manos here, purpose of the Manos here, response to BGS. I had a quick upload this morning. I got to go somewhere. I'm doing a much more formal response in, in, you know, in the form of the stream. Uh, I'll let y'all come in here as time goes on. But... And for those who've been asking me, yes, I, I, my channel Hammer has I have closed it down and I've moved over to my other channel Archer. That's what I'm going to be doing my uploads. So for those who still want to continue to view my content, view my thoughts and stuff, they can go over to my Archer channel. In fact, um, in this live stream, in the description, I'm going to leave the link there for those who want to go there and check it out. Um, over there, I'm going to be talking to much more formal. Okay. So... Yeah, so that's going to be a much more formal thing. So for, all, for those who want to see my more like, you know, in-depth video so you can go over to my channel, it's going to be in the description to this live stream. I'm probably going to kind of take this down next week. Um, you guys need to keep in mind that um, I'm only doing this as kind of a response to BGS. I'm going to close it down. So I'm, I'm not going to be uploading anything anymore. It's just going to be a quick response. But let's get into it, right? So a couple of days ago. I was, you know, just going about my business, um, doing my, uh, you know, working, uh, working on my new channel, working on my job, working on, you know, working on my school, right? Yeah, and yeah, somebody yeah. sent me a video mm -hmm. from BGS Immor, right? Yes. In which he essentially proclaimed that the gender war is over, or that men won the YouTube gender war, and that you know, the paradigm had changed. The black men, black men. Not the not the manosphere, black man, the black manosphere. Okay, let's get it straight. Let's be precise. Black men, not the manosphere, black manosphere. Okay, it's number one. Change and, and, and that, 
and essentially that now you know well we can all celebrate and i was just like when i saw that sh when i saw that video that's the person sent to you right? i said i did not know whether to laugh or cry who said anything about celebrating said anything about celebrating you didn't know whether to laugh or cry who said anything about celebrating if you're going to respond how come you didn't play the video okay the, the, the best thing to do is if you're going to respond to a response video why don't you why don't you take why don't you respond to the video it's only two, it's, it wasn't even 20 minutes well anyway I, I i didn't know how to feel because from my point of view, I was like, hold up that has to be the most retarded shit i've heard in my life there was nothing in this environment i saw you that that the the, the, the uh men were in fact I will say that the men are actually losing and they're going to continue to lose because you're fighting against an environment that puts you at a disadvantage. How? How are you fighting against an environment that puts you at a disadvantage? How? How? In fact, the whole thing about women getting put out of their houses, women Roe v. Wade getting reversed, all the, them, them taking about taking away feminism, stripping it away. Okay. Women, women are becoming destitute and desperate. Okay. How is that an oppressive environment? How is it worse than you had it five years ago? Number one, the fact that you're saying that quote unquote, the man who's the black man who's one of the, 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 the YouTube gender war, that already proves to me that this entire time when dudes will happen on panels complaining, when dudes are screaming about submission, when dudes were talking about how chicks are not submitting, not doing this, all that kind of stuff, right? When dudes were just seeing all this crazy stuff, they didn't really mean it, right? So, so it was a manosphere and these spaces was just a place for dudes to vent. So yeah, yeah, it was a place for dudes to vent. It's number one, okay? They're hopping on screaming about submission. They didn't never, they never defined submission. They defined cooperation, right? That's what the whole thing was about, but you never found out. Never found out. You didn't know. But the thing is, this is a twenty, a twenty-one year old kid with no experience that doesn't that doesn't know what he's talking about. You never been through nothing, okay? But you think that uh, what I say is retarded? We, we, I I got kids and grandkids, okay? But you know, you know more than I do. That's retarded. It was. Right? Come on here. You know, hop on stream, say what they gotta say. But in the real world, they're actually losing, right? Just because you have more red pill content, just be how are they losing? You haven't you haven't even explained how they're losing yet. How are they losing? Because you have more quote unquote uh, um red pill channels, just because you have more guys spending that doesn't mean anything. Because that is not turned to real power in real life. Okay, you have an ecosystem. Well, you guys can vent about issues, so what? So, what is real power, okay? You, you're talking about being online. On, what is it about you guys that think online is the whole world? But anyway, go ahead. And remember, they can take that shit down any time. You guys keep forgetting that, okay? Just like with Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, you know, he went on to be, you know, he blew up, had a million subs, a man was on top of the world. He died and that was it. How was that His it? The whole high value man should die with him. No, it didn't. No, you know no, why? No, it didn't die with him because the kid still carries on. I just saw, I just saw ten white videos in the white, not even the manosphere, right? Every, not even related to the manosphere, talking about what high value men. How did it die? How did it die? How did it die? So, in other words, Kevin Samuels died a few months ago, and all of a sudden nobody talks about high value men anymore. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Right? Because all that shit was online. All that stuff was online. There was no real world like stuff behind it. Yes. Did you have some guys, you know, who were trying to be high value? Yes, there was some guys who do that. But for the most part, a lot of this stuff was happening online. So why No, no, it wasn't all happening online because you have a whole bunch of the, the high value men existed. They weren't, they, they, the high value men weren't online. These are real world guys. These are guys that are supposedly that you're going to be one day. Okay. He defined it. They do exist. They have degrees. They have some have Ivy League degrees. Some have bachelors. Some have PhDs. Uh, some are engineers. Some are programmers. Some are businessmen. We have three or four of them that are millionaires that that show their face that show the, in the real world it's not a student uh in his dorm hiding behind a computer once he passed away it, it went away with him the 
original issue that guys are facing and that guys are wanting to is that the manosphere is nothing more than a reflection. It, it's really a coping mechanism for lack of power. And I, I, I've said it before all the time, right? When dudes talk about game, when dudes talk about fucking bitches, when dudes talk about... And I, I, I hate the fact he's... I don't care about... I don't, bitch. I don't care about fucking bitches. That's not a point. Yes, you do care about fucking bitches. Yes, you do care about dating. Yes, you do care about women. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yes, you do. That's the problem. You're lying. You do care about it. Otherwise, you would have responded to me. You wouldn't be in a manosphere. Now, state what's wrong with you, and let's keep going. And this is the issue. Thank you. Because I just saw this stream with Edward Anderson, nigga screaming about, I'm got dudes go, 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 uh, I'm traveling overseas. So now, what? Let me get this straight. So, what? so you guys supposedly won the gender war, but you're trying to find ways to 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 quote unquote leave to go abroad. So what? Really? Yes, because because a lot of guys didn't believe they had the freaking option to go overseas and go abroad or go someplace else or go outside their race. That's why SYSBM is right because uh, black women want to keep you in that box. Okay. You had the power of choice, and that's what the manosphere is about. To actually tell black men they had a power of choice. They don't have to stay in this box. That's what it's all about. That's why it's important. That's why you have PhDs that says, you know what? In my world, I couldn't say that, and I didn't think you could. And the manosphere taught them, yeah, guess what? You can you can say that. Not only can you say it, you have a right to say it. You have a right to demand it. I give I'll give you one example how it did reflect in the real world. Since you don't, since you talk about power, go as Ice Cube. OK, he could not get his um, black black agenda off the ground. Right. Couldn't get it off the ground. Right. And the chicks laughed in his face. They wouldn't support it. Black women would not get behind it. They would not support it. Guess what the manosphere did? The manosphere say, well, guess what? You embarrassed IQ, Ice Cube. Guess what black men are not going to do? We're going to get together. We're going to rally the troops. We're going to spread the word. And we are not going to. We're, we're actually going to protest certain women in power they call it the ice cube effect that's real world sir that's real world how do you think president gives it i think obama got elected obama got his message out through twitter he got his message out online through facebook so he rallied the troops anyhow continuing it does happen in the real world it's already happening in the real world really but, I mean, but to go back to what i was saying right fundamentally the manosphere red pill game okay these are compensation for lack of power that's all it is. Men on we no longer live in a patriarchal society. Men don't have the power they used to. Men don't have the same. How, the, the thing is, is that how did you how did you learn that you no longer live in a patriarchal society? Who taught you that? Where'd you learn that? Where'd you learn that? Because Negro, you didn't learn. The thing is, you didn't learn that uh, anyplace else, right? You didn't learn that in school. I know you didn't learn it in school because they don't teach it in school. Where'd you learn that? You learned it from my channel. You're telling me what I don't know, and you're going to use my talking points, what I said, and the stuff that I put online and try to reverse it like you just learned something? I'm the one, and me and Gigi are the one to say you don't no longer live in a patriarchal society. Because if you listen to the feminists, you listen to all the other guys, they tell you, that's guess, guess what you do? You still live in a patriarchal society. But you're going to take my research and my philosophy along with the green gorilla and to try to turn it like i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about it's the second time you've done that let's go on and see what else you got to say because i said already i'm getting pissed because you're trying to you're trying to front me with the shit that you learned from me second time you've done that padawan same rights they used to right men don't have the same legal rights or economic power right you just learned that you just learned that. You just learned that. I just put that up. I just proved that. Continuing. It, 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 in many ways, the women are being used as, as a buffer class. And what? so because you can project a buffer, a buffer class, or real a buffer class. What the fuck? Are you, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm going to go on five more minutes because I'm already pissed, man. I'm already pissed. You have mumbled your way through like the first five minutes, man. Disconnected points, no logic, no forethought. It's all emotion, all emotion. And all of a sudden, it must, the manuscript must be worth something because every all the points that you put out, guess what? Where'd you learn it from? Where'd you learn the language? Where'd you learn the philosophy? But it doesn't. But it, but it's not in the real world. Your eyes are not opened to the real world.
But so but things so the whole manosphere, all the philosophy is worthy, worthless. Continuing. No power in the real world. Y'all niggas wanna come online and have all this all this alpha male talk. The problem oh, I have with oh, these conversations okay. is very simple. Okay, okay. I, I get it. I get it. Okay. When you have dudes like BG as a clinic that the, 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 the YouTube gender war is 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 one online. What that essentially means that you're essentially acknowledging that in the real world, men are losing. Nope, that's what I'm not. So what I'm acknowledging. I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get guys to take it, take take the next step, take the next step. That men are losing. No, actually, men are not losing per se. Men are not recognizing their power. In fact, men are actually starting to win. Okay, the environment has shifted. Men are starting to win. Men are winning so much they they don't know what to do with it. They have shifted the balance of power in in the personal space. Okay, the legal space is another thing. If you talk about the legal space, okay, I never said anything about the legal space. I, I, what I say in my video, the next space is 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 policy. The next space is the legal space. But the online gender war, as it has been presented, as it has been described, is over. Even people that used to disagree with me, the, the when once they looked at it, they had to agree. It's over. It's time to move on to the next step. Stop doing the same thing over and over again. But thing is, what I'm hearing from this dude is is, is basically a, a beta male's primal scream. Okay, it's about alpha males or alpha male posing in, in online being coping mechanism. Okay, and for some guys, it is. You're one of them, Hammer. You're one of them. You're one of these guys to come online to, 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 to learn, learn game, learn the language because it's a coping mechanism for you. And you're mad that the, the so-called online manosphere, which is very tiny, can't solve your problems. It was never here to solve your problems. It was designed to do what it was designed to do. It wasn't designed to overturn the whole system. MGTOW itself wasn't designed to overturn the whole system. MGTOW was actually designed to, to bring to, to bring balance to the force, right? But that takes time. It takes time. And the first thing that men have to exercise is their power of choice. The people have the power. Men do have power. Do they exercise the power? You getting on a plane and you going someplace else is exercising your power because you don't have to participate in the system. Okay, the system and nobody particip participates in the system, the system will collapse. If the men don't participate in the system, the system will collapse. If men decide that they're not going to provide babies to the system or, or sperm to the system, the system is going to collapse. That's where your power is. You're wrong. You do have power in the system. You're not powerless. Even as a black man, you're not powerless. If you were powerless, they wouldn't try to keep, try to keep their foot on your neck to keep you from getting up. Because you're not a threat. But all that bullshit you're spouting right now as a as a t fucking 20 year old that that has zero experience in this kind of stuff. And I do mean zero. You're trying to talk to me like you're a 50 year old guy and you've been through all the wars. You've been have been married, had kids, been divorced, you've been all that kind of you've been through the whole gamut. That's what you're trying to talk about. And then what kind of power you have that you ain't done nothing. You haven't done anything. You haven't even exercised your own personal power because you're too scared. Anyhow, continuing. I'm gonna go a few more minutes and then I'm gonna drop this because already I'm disinterested. It doesn't matter how many uh, um quote unquote um how many red pill channels or red pill content that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter. Why in the real world y'all still paying this, this, this is the, if in the real world y'all still paying alimony. If in the real world rights are being taken away from you, if rights like real, what in the real world rights like what? What's what kind of rights are being taken away from you? What kind of rights are being taken away from you? Seriously, what kind of rights are being taken away from you in the real world? What kind of rights? You haven't described anything. You're paying child support and alimony, okay? You were doing that when when it was a when it was a patriarchy, okay? Child support and alimony goes back 300 years, okay? Didn't just start yesterday. But how do you combat? If it's too much, how do you combat it in the real world? In the real world, how do you? The thing is, how do you define a war? And if you think if if you think the the online the the, the gender war or the online president of the black manosphere is worthless, why are you here? Why are you here? Why why do you have all these so-called uh, red pill uh, what I call purple pill channels popped up to teach women how to get along with black men. Why? Because black men are leaving. Black men are dating out. Black men are, are getting on boats, going overseas. Okay, getting foreign wives, which is, which is something they should do. Don't like the women here? Import some. Import them. You have the power to import women. Okay, if you want to, you can exercise your power. Exercise your power. You can flood the market. The biggest thing that's wrong with black men is what's between their ears. It's not. You know, the laws are bad, okay? The laws are bad, can be bad. I mean, the laws are really not that bad, okay? 
they're really not can they be unfair if you decide to enter into that contract with with women and get married yeah guess what you're gonna do if you if you have an unfair contract you don't get in it so the real angst has nothing to do with with men or black men period right if black men don't get married and black men uh, stop having children and have, stop raising families guess who the big loser is it's not the men it's a problem for the government but that's the part that you don't understand why because you're a padawan you're a padawan with no experience trying to play a try to play a game on a on a larger level and that's the problem so you try to come at me like i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about when the reverse is true what have you ever said that's come true what whatever what plan have you laid out except to, except to say that oh i don't believe that the, that the uh, online uh, gender war has an effect in the real world when it does kevin is proof of it that it, that it has an effect in the real world because guess what it does it spreads the narrative throughout the whole system and then once you spread the narrative throughout the whole system the people that are in place to change something can change it can tilt it one way or the other if you understand how power works which you don't sir you can understand where you need to change it and who you need to get to change it there's there, in 2017 and i've produced it something you should have known already they're already talking about getting rid of the tender years doctrine which most people don't even know that it exists because they don't teach you that shit that the that 50 50 custody is almost in those 20 states is it's going to be law in other words each party has the same right to the kid has the same has the same legal standing that's throwing out the tenure years doctrine but the thing is you don't know that because you're not looking for it that was 2017 that was in 2022 or 2020 that was 2017 now now even with the, even with the heartbeat bill okay the anti-abortion bill okay there's gonna be mandatory dna testing so a chick just not can't a chick just that can, can't show up and ask for child support she gotta have a dna test and then the thing is you gotta know what to push for in this system okay if oh well nothing gonna change in the real world because you still got child support and you and you and you still got divorced and all that kind of stuff so the thing is how you get it changed you have to go to the next level but the online gender war especially black gender war which is what we call it because the white manosphere never called it a gender war they never called it a gender war the online gender war has certain objectives okay those have already been reached which is something that I said. Those have already been fulfilled, which is something I said. All wars have an objective. They have an end point. It's not perpetual. Why? I want power in the real world. Nigga, you ain't done shit. I want, I want, I want. You haven't done anything. You haven't, you haven't done not one thing to first to actually do affect anything in the real world. But you're going to get on here and you're going to land bass people that are trying to do something. Padawan, go a few more minutes and then I'm going yeah. to close this out world you're becoming more and more of, of, of really more of, of a gynocentric society and, and one thing i came to there you go using my word again gynocentric how do you know and what difference does it make if every if, if everybody gets treated fairly what difference does it make the environment sets the system right the environment sets the system you don't even know how it got started all you know that you wound up here it's become more and more of a gynocentric society not really in fact roe v wade tells you that it's not as gynocentric as you think it is anyhow continuing you realize that for a lot of dudes the manosphere although a lot of guys will hop on these spaces and complain about women and complain about society and 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 and, and, and the environment all that stuff because one thing is right why is it that the guys who complain the most about chicks are the ones who who promote game the most that's that's something i've noticed right no see <laughs> there you go again that's what you're complaining about see you're talking about guy you're talking about the, the dating guys okay the, the the game guys because that's who you visit because that's what you're interested in okay all the channels i visit don't talk about game most of the guys i know that the dating coach they don't talk they don't talk about they don't complain about chicks they don't so i don't know you're trying to mix the, the white manosphere and the game manosphere with the black manosphere you're mixing Okay, and then you come into my video when I'm talking about the black manosphere, a very small subset of the whole thing, and you're trying to expand it to what you want. Get the fuck out of here, Padawan. Okay, you can stop being a beta if when you want to. Okay, because you already told me your thing is to wait for a sex doll. That's what your thing is. I'm going to wait for technology to give me a sex doll. I'm not going to participate. I'm not going to get involved with women because it's too scary and things like that. So the gender war is going to, I'm going to keep fighting the gender war till I get my sex doll because it's too gynocentric. It's too this, too that, too this, too that. Instead of, instead of exercising your own agency. Okay.
you know, and that, that's the that's the problem that I hate because it is because you have a gynocentric men because you're just as gynocentric as the rest of them. I can hear it in your voice because you you don't sound like the guys. You sound like the women because that's the same thing that the women would say. Let, go listen to women's channel and then compare it to what you're saying here. You sound just like them. You're complaining about red pill guys that try to use game uh, and, and complain about women, which you have done on many occasions. On many occasions, because you're one of the people that got online to complain about women, have panels complaining about women. And all of a sudden, you're not one of those guys. What we're trying to do is bring people in, bring language in, and bring people into where you actually change, start changing the system. But you want to keep fighting the same fucking war over and over again because you can't you can't get what you want. You can't get the, the, the submissive wife that's going to suck your dick and not say anything. Okay? It's America. Okay? Okay. There will be no place on the planet that's like that in a little bit. Why? Because the environment will change. But the laws are going to have to change right along with it. Patriarchy is not that old. It hasn't been around that long. Okay, You can trace patriarchy back. Uh, really, I traced it back to less than 5,000 years. Patriarchy that, we, that we're used to. Now, it may have existed in other forms, but the patriarchy that we're used to, I've traced it back about, right about 5,000 years. It hasn't been around that long. And at some point, when the environment changes and started changing with the Industrial Revolution, which I pointed out, it's going to come to an end, my Padawan. If you're going to use my video, be accurate. What did I say? Not what you feel that I should have said. What did I say? What did I say about the next phase? You're going to have to fight a new war. Because the old war, the online gender war, talking about women is over, which is what I said. And you want to keep repeating the same cycle over and over again, but but don't, but you don't like it. You're having an emotional reaction to a video because you want something out of the video, or you want something out of this this manosphere experience that you're not willing to do in real life. You're not even exercising your own goddamn power. So I cheer a guy that will get on a plane and go be happy. Okay, I cheer a guy that that can't get what he want in his own group will go to another group where he is accepted where he can be happy where he can thrive where he can learn because i'll tell the guy in a minute right young guy in a minute you're too caught up over pussy you're too centralized over getting sex man why don't you take a couple of months take some money go to brazil get this shit all out your system and then come back open up your eyes see that all the women all over the world are not the same they're not Hell, they're not even the same in the United States. They're not the same. They look at things. They look at the world differently. They have a different experience than, than the ones in the West. And then come back and then compare. And then you have enough maturity and experience and hell, even bodies all behind you to where you can actually evaluate woman in front of you. You don't even have that yet, man. Talk about real power. You're not going. You live in Washington, D.C. You can go fucking right down the street and protest. You can join, you can actually join some kind of political action committee right now and go protest for whatever law that you want to get passed. You're right in the heart of Washington, D.C. What have you done? What have you done? There's men's, I'm sure there's men's groups on, on campus. Have you joined one? No, but this is, this is a brotherhood, right? And every person that listens and learns something has the, the ability to go out and, and basically apply this knowledge in their own life with their women, with their kids, with their marriage, if you know, in the legal system. But if they don't know, if they don't have any information, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. OK, why do you go to school? Why do you go to school? You does. Will you go to school? What you're learning? OK. Are you actually going out and applying that in the real world? No. You're going to wait till you get out of school and try to figure it out. They're there to learn. The school doesn't doesn't actually uh, put you in a factory and actually teach you how to do something right that you have to learn information so that you can actually put all that stuff together and actually go out and apply this is a school the online uh, manager is a school for information that's what it's there for so that each individual can actually go out and apply this in the real world okay for feminism feminism took three is it 200 years to actually uh, get to this point it didn't happen overnight it didn't happen overnight and there's phases of it the black man is fear is just a phase okay the online gender war as it was designed in fact this is the second iteration of the third iteration of the online gender war we already had one one and two already had one and two the first one ended the second one is ending okay now we're into the third gender war or if you want to call it a gender war i don't even call it a gender war because if you if you're going against the state Gender has nothing to do with it. It's not a gender war anymore. It's actually a battle for men's rights. It's not a gender war. And men have the power because men say, if you don't 
give us equality. We don't get what we need. We're not going to participate until men say that it's nothing's going to happen. Right. Men always have had the power. Black men, black men have the power too. they have the right to say no. That's what MGTOW is about. MGTOW is about saying no, but you'll learn that. But anyway, I've gone on long enough about this. And basically, he's not really saying very much. OK, so I'm going to put this up and I'm going to get to the next one. All right. Because you now, like I said, he's a Padawan, man. And everything else he says about that actually makes no sense. OK.